Let's take a look at the news from November 6th, 1991. In Japan, you really can't take it with you. Elaborate funeral services, traditionally held at home, cost up to $75,000. Burial plots can cost another $30,000 because there is so little land available. As a result, Japan's $7 billion a year mortuary business has been forced to change. Since most Japanese are cremated, temporary pay lockers can now be rented for cremation urns at mausoleum high-rises. And funeral halls, virtually unknown a few years ago, are growing increasingly popular because they charge one-tenth the going rate for services held at home. But the latest trend in Japanese funerals can be found in this former bowling alley in Osaka. After a Buddhist service and the final chrysanthemums are placed in the coffin, theatrics replace tradition. Another high-tech funeral is underway. On a platform, tilting heavenward, the coffin makes its way through a tunnel of light and dry ice smoke. Followed by family members, the laser farewell, as it's called, lasts only three minutes before the platform disappears into the clouds and a flash of light. I was really moved. I felt as if the deceased was really beginning a journey to a far-off land. I felt we sent the person into a beautiful atmosphere. Six of these $8,000 services are held every day. Demand is so great, President Shinichi Saito plans to open a chain of the parlors. Today's generation, who must eventually see their parents off, have been brought up in a high-tech society. That is why this type of service is accepted. Saito has reason to believe high-tech funerals will flourish. After all, he's had a lot of experience. His laser farewell is modeled after his earlier creation, high-tech laser weddings. Bill Redeker, ABC News, Tokyo.